Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design this login page. In previous video, I've already shown you the overview of Cafe Management System and from this video, I'm going to start designing with this application. So let's start with that. So let me close this first. And what we have to do is we have to first create a new project. For that, just click on this file and click on new project and name that project whatever you want. So I've already created one with the Cafe Management video and here you can see this. This is first thing what we have to do is we have to actually remove this border from this form and secondly we have to fill the background color so let me maximize this little bit and after that just right click and go to properties and there you have to search for few properties which we have to change so first thing what I want to change is that form border to search for that so here you can see this form border style just click on this and select none and here you can see this now the form border has been removed after this what we have to do is we have to actually set the form size and the background color so let me copy the form size from the complete project so click on this and let me copy this size to seven sorry 373 comma 540 so i'm going to copy this move back over here right click go to properties search for size paste it over here and hit enter now you can see this this is in the perfect shape after this what we have to do is we have to copy the color combination so let me search for the properties that is back color here you can see this let me copy the color code from this so search for back color so our color code is 41 comma 44 comma 55 sorry 51 so move back over here and just paste it you can manually write it 41 comma 44 comma 51 and hit enter and here you can see this now the color has been changed first thing here you can observe what we have is this is a picture box and in this i have set up image you can set any image whatever you feel like it's okay so i'm going to use one image which i already have in the system if you need that you can just ask me for that okay so let me add that so search for picture box first because we need one picture box so drag and drop it over here let me maximize this like this one after this what we have to do is we have to set image inside this so let me just click on this small triangle over here just click on this choose images click local resources click on import and after this local directory will be opened so I'm going to use this one in this whole project I have used only these two images so I will provide a link for these two images and click on open click on ok select stretch mode and here you can see this now we have this if you want it a little bit large in size so you can set that too like this okay after this what we need is we need two labels and two text boxes first i'm going to drag few labels so drag and drop it I need two so just copy and paste it two times and after that what we need is we need text box so search for text box and here you can see this we have something extra in my system that is Guna2 text box from where this comes actually I have added one DLL file into my toolbox and this gives me some extra tools inside this one here you can see this with the name Guna I'll find all these in that DLL so I'm going to provide this DLL file in my description. You can go and download it from there. And I'm also going to put one video description in which I have shown how to add that DLL file into this toolbox. So go and watch that first and add this DLL file into your toolbox. And after that, you can start coding with me. Okay, so now I'm going to use this Guna 2, 2 text box. Just drag and drop it. Okay, so it's taking a little bit of time. Let me close this. Okay. So I have not purchased that. That doesn't make any sense. We are a free user using open source. Okay, so now we have these two text boxes in place, and after that, we need one button. So let me copy one button. So I need Guna 2 button. So just drag and drop it over here and after this we need one link label so whatever we need we have these all right now 
after this what we have to do is we have we have to just make a little bit modification with this so first thing change the text for this one change this one to username change the second label to password and what we have to do is we have to actually change the four color for these two labels so I have selected both by pressing the serial key and custom and white and after this what I have to do is we have to actually set the font for these so just click on this search for font click on that small start and I'm going to search for Okay, so let me see what font actually I have used. So click on this. Comic Sans. I have used Comic Sans of size 12. So cancel, move back over here. Comic Sans, this one regular and size is 12. And it's okay. Yeah, this is looking better. Let me move this a little bit upside. Okay, after this, here you can see this now this one is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to remove the border from these two text box from the three side okay that doesn't make any difference because we are using these in a gray type gray color type form so that's why okay so next thing what we have to do is we have to actually change few properties of these button okay so let me copy the color code for this button now copied and after this, what I have to do is let me move back over here. Just click on this, fill color, change this. After this, change few more properties. With the Guna 2 button, you will find something more. Like, let me show you, border radius. Here you can set this. 26, if I set 26, here you can see this. Now the corners are circular in shape and that's looking better. Okay, after this, what we have to do is we have to change this border style from solid to dash. Okay, that will be not visible much because we have a different type of background color. Okay, so let me change the text for, for now. So login, hit enter. And after this, what we have to do is we have to increase the font. Click on this. Bold. I'm going to select 11 or select 12. Okay, that's looking better. After this, what we have to do is we have to actually set few more properties of these labels and buttons as well. So what I want is when I click on this button, the things needs to be changed. So how to do that? Well, let me just copy this and move back to check the state. And here you can find this. What I want is whenever we click on this, I want the color needs to be filled is white. Select white. Okay, sorry. And after this, what we have to do is we have to actually make one more changes. That is, four color. Four color needs to be of this color combination. It means that when I click on this, the fill color needs to be of white color, and the text written inside this it should be with this color combination. That is zero comma one one eight comma two two one. Okay, so let me start this and let me show you if this works or not. Here you can see this. Okay, so this one is not working. Let me explain you why. Because we haven't changed one property of the button. Let me show you. Let me minimize this first. Click on this and button. Search for that. Button mode. Here you can see this. Change this one from default to toggle button or radio button, I guess. Yeah. When you start this, and when you click on this, here you can see this. Yeah, you can see the difference. When you click on this, the color change. Yeah, this works. If you want that for the first time when you click the color change, and when you again click the color change to the previous one, then how to do that? For that, you have to select one stuff. Just click on this, and you have to change this from radio button to toggle button, and save this. And now I'm going to start this, and you will find that. When I click on this, yeah, color changes. When I again click on this, this is back. Okay, so this one is working fine. And here you can see this. Yeah, we have small stuff which we have to change. First thing what we have to do is we have to actually increase the font size for these text box. 
and what we have to do next is that we have to change the font color this one is gray and this is not visible clearly and third thing what we have to do is we have to change this one to in the star format that will look much more good okay so first thing i'm going to change the color for this one increase the font size first let me search for font just click on this right click and go to properties and search for font click on this select 11 or 12 11 yeah 11 is good okay so the size is increased now so let me copy the size of this one and click on this if this happens you have to do the same 244 comma 36 yeah and now place this on the proper position and after this click on this go to properties search for font click on this and select 11 hit ok yeah the size is changed too so move back over here right click and go to properties and you have already copied this size of this one so go to size and paste it yeah this moves to the normal after this what we have to do is we have to change the font of the text for these two text boxes for that just select both of these by pressing the serial key and go to the for color here you can see this click on this select black whatever you write inside this will be now in the black color so let's start and try that here you can observe this is on the left side of the screen i want this on the center center of the screen so i will do that now here you can see this now this one is looking better so we still remain with the two properties we have to change that First thing I want to appear this in the center of the screen. So for that, right click, go to properties, select a start position, click on this center of the screen, and save this. And whenever you start this, this will be in the center of the screen. And here you can see this. Yeah, this looks nice. After this, what we have to do is we have to change the password care for this text box. Right click and go to properties, search for password care inside this one, and you have to just enter star and hit enter now start this and you will see whatever you write inside the second one will be in the star format yeah this one is looking better than before you can also set placeholder text for this one so here you can see this placeholder text just write something whatever you want like enter user name here you can see this this one is visible inside this click on this enter password yeah this one is looking better now what we remain with that we remain with this label we have to change the label so first thing i'm going to change the text for this from label link label one to continue continue as guest and after this what we have to do is first thing i want to change the color for this one so link color i want this one to be green yeah this one is visible and after this what we have to do is we have to increase the font size for this so click on this and going to increase to 14 yeah this one is looking better and i'm going to increase the button size too yeah this one looks better Exactly. Let me decrease the size. It's putting is quite large. Let me change this one to 12. Yeah, this one is better. Okay. And after this, what we have to do is when I click on this, I want to change the color. So let me do that. Check the state or search for that. So, so let me first start this and see what happens when I click on this color changes or not yeah yeah this one is changing to red yeah that will be fine yeah that's looking nice okay after this what we have to do is we have to add one rectangular shape in this here you can observe in this one we have one rectangular shape over here so i'm going to add that just move back over here and just add rectangular shape just drag and drop it over here and what we have to do is just click on this and first thing what we here you can observe this one is not visible so i'm going to set the color code first so fill color change this one no actually for color search for for color 
I guess fill color is right. Okay. This one is. Yeah, that doesn't change it. What we have to do is we have to change the back color, border color. Let me change this one, border color. Yeah. When you change the border color, the color changes. So what we have to do is 0, 118, something. I actually forgot the color code. Cancel this and move back over here. Just click on this. And let me copy the color code. 118, 225. Copy this. Move back over here. Yeah. You can see this now the color is changed. First thing what we have to do is we have to increase the width of this. So I'm going to select three. And after this, we have to just do the stuff like this. Place and increase the size of this one. And here you can see this. Yeah. Yeah, this one is working or looking nice. Let me start this and let's see how this one actually looks. Yeah, this one is look exactly what I have shown in my complete project. Yeah, and let's see if this works or not. Yeah, this one is working fine and looking nice. So that's it for this video, guys. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to design the dashboard and how to connect the login page with the dashboard. So thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe my YouTube channel and please share with your friends. Thanks for watching.